Hi. We're in amongst the gallery at the moment at Palm Beach and we've got Baby, we've got the sun doing the lighting and so in case you might be a noise, we'll get rid of him. And so customers. we've got a lovely customer who's going to learn all about drawing. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, my boy's carrots. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about sticks. Now, a stick is just not an ordinary stick. If you've got, if you're going to draw with a stick and it's as hard as a rock, you're basically drawing with not the movement, which is what we're wanting. So what we want is a special stick and one that moves like this. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I've got this lovely crab from yesterday for those of you who saw it online, which we found, and he's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to, in my pink outfit, which is totally stupid, I am going to prepare the paper. Now this is just a cheap paper from yesterday, and it's only just a cheap rubbish from um, the $2 shop. Okay, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on paper. So what I'm going to do, and this is quite nice for those of you staying home in the apartments and the houses who can't get out, and you can't go to the beach or whatever, is to just prepare a piece of paper and make a border that makes everything look more fabulous. So the secret is to get your sticky tape, and this is special sticky tape, but if you've got a normal sticky tape, just touch your clothes with it so it won't tear the paper when, you're, when you take it off. Oh, did we introduce Ash? <laughs> this is Ash, the perfect grandchild. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to prepare this. So it's just a small framed piece so that when I take the sticky tape off, it will be the lovely border and make it look more fabulous. You don't have to do it. Absolutely not compulsory. This is just all helps towards happiness because that's what we're after, happiness. Right, so it's, it's nice doing a small piece too because I know a lot of you are stuck at home in a small space. You can set this up in your um, dining room or in your kitchen table. Okay, get rid of that. Just to prove that we're dead hold here. We've got dead hold. We've got homemade hand sanitizer. Dead hold and aloe vera gel. We've got everything. Okay, which will probably be told as well. Okay, my inks are, I use waterproof ink because if I buy non waterproof ink at any time, chances are that I love it, I touch water with it and it disappears. So the waterproof ink is much better. black which I love. This is a sepia which is a calligraphy one and I think that actually moves a bit. And this is a permanent... <laughs> Excuse me Matthew, stop. Okay, no, no. I'm only kidding. So this is um, a Sennelia, beautiful, and this is an indigo blue. So, but what I'm going to do is black because most of you will have black. So, the thing is about the stick, this I just got this outside from the gallery in Palm Beach. <laughs> That's my son. He's an electrician. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> okay. So with with the stick, we don't need to do a drawing in pencil. Yes, so it's if you funny. Have a pencil, you tighten up, you're unhappy. Alright, we will be doing different mediums and stuff, but we'll stick with the stick and ink because I'm getting instant happiness, okay? So I'm sticking that in there. And I'm gonna look at the look at the different shapes and look he's even got little eyes and little tiny cute little things. Can you see him Jay? Look, look, he's gorgeous. Nippers. And so what I'm gonna do and I'll probably bugger it up, oh look I made a mess anyway, is just look at the shapes and the thing about a stick is you cannot do a straight line because a straight line is a boring line. If we're going to do a straight line, go and get your ruler out, go and get your pencil and be unhappy but this will make you happy, okay? So the thing is it moves and what you do is just move the side, the side will give you this nice effect like this and then the point will give this effect and if you just twist the stick right and then it runs out of ink but that's okay okay so you move it around okay so i'm looking at the shapes and all the different bits and pieces that come with this with this lovely 
crap. Well, the reason there's not much in here, bloody went all over my uh, bag. So I'm going to put the eyes in. I'm going to put, you just do the main things at the moment to get the shapes. Use the sides. Now, instead of just doing a line and keeping on going over the same line, try mix it up by using doing this to get that shape of the claw, right? Mix it up. There's a claw. You don't have to do the detail. It's all about how you're going to nice and loose. Nice and loose and not go over the same line all the time, right? And if you do it wrong, you don't don't get rid of it, you can't rub it out, it doesn't matter, because that all makes for a more interesting, a more interesting shape and size. Mistakes are okay. So this lovely claw that comes out here, and it comes out like this, and it's amazing, with just very little effort, you've actually got what's recognisable as crab, crab So I'm going to put all this on here, and what's nice about this, I'm going to do more and I'll show you later on as it finishes, but I'm going to take this picture out to the edge in the, with drawing and sketching so that when I take this blue off, it will have a really nice smooth edge. And you can set up a whole lot of little montages on your lovely piece of paper, and you, or you can have your working out here on the right, and you can have your, your painting on the, right, on the left. But then you can just, it's so cheap this paper, right? So, and then you can do all different angles of the nice little crap. You can do the back view, you can do the front view. You might just even comment on the, just on the floor. And then as it evolves, you might have one montage of eight pictures that will then, you can take the frame, you can take the um, tape off, and you will have a really lovely piece. So, what we're, I'm going to do today is just stick an ink, and I'll, I'll put different images up on the net of what it looks like, and then I'll do... Um, thickening with washes and stuff next time. So we'll just keep evolving, little tiny steps that you can do at home. It's not hard, anyone can draw. All you have to do is sit down and fiddle and nothing's wrong, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off and I will post all the different images as I go and maybe little updates, so. But what I've done is, it's really important when you're looking at something, it's not just at what the image is, but also the shadows it creates. And that gives you a reason to paint on the canvas. So what I've done is by the shadow has come right to the edge of the navy blue, and I'm trying not to get a bloody ink on myself from the top, which I quite like. And so I've taken, that's the shadow. Can you see that shadow there? And the shadow here, and these shadows that's created, Oh, the light's gone now. See, look how interesting. The lights are on so there's no shadow, but before there was shadow. And that's why it's important to set it up your little set up your little um, set so that you different lights. Okay, so I'm going to what I'm gonna do is I will do a better one a bit later. But I'll show you what I mean by the tape. So when I take the tape off, oh look at that. You've got a really nice. Oh, now the bloody tape. Anyway. Okay. And there. Looks good. Look alright. And it's not fabulous, but it is recognisable as some sort of crab. But it's like anything. If you've got something just that you can put in front of you, put the lighting on, get the shadows, the lights, and dark. Make it a little montage, even if it's a cup and saucer, um, fruit bowl, a uh, little piece of fruit to start with, the apple, and just really, art is all about really, 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 um, really looking and observing and seeing the detail and a reason to put a mark on the paper along
light and dark and the shape. So I'll do another one of these, which will look a little bit better. And uh, I'll post some other photos. So if you do them, can you please let me know and see what, I'd love to see what you do. And what you've chosen to do around the house or what you've, I've actually got a banks here, which is lovely, you know, with those lovely darks and lights. So anything you've got around the house. How do they show you? Put it on my Instagram, uh, put, put it on the feed. Take a picture on the Facebook or the Instagram. I don't know if you can put photos on Instagram. On the no. Oh. Well, put it, put it on your feed, put it on your Instagram and message and tag me and I can have a look. I'd love to see it. Okay, thank you. Bye.